Hello, this is Maria from Math Mammoth and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this video we're going to be rounding numbers to the nearest 10. And so here we have a number line and let's look at, for example, a number that's here. Which number is it? That's going to be 3 units from 60, so it's 57. And when we're talking about rounding to the nearest 10, it means that we find the nearest 10 number, whole 10, nearest multiple of 10 to that number. 57 is between 50 and 60, but which one is it closest to? Clearly, 57 is closer to 60 than it is to 50. So then we say that 57 gets rounded to 60 when we round to the nearest 10. And this is how we write it down, 57. And we use these two squiggly wavy lines to indicate is about 60, or is rounded to 60, or is approximately 60. Let's try another one over here. This number here would be 61, 2, 3, 4, 64. And we check, is it near 60? or 70. 60 and 70 are both multiples of 10. You know, if you skip counting by 10s, 50, 60, 70, 80, 64 is between 60 and 70, but which one is it nearer to? We can easily see it's nearer to 60. So then we put it's rounded to, or it's about 60. And how about this one here? 69, that's easy to see. 69 gets rounded to 70, right? Now let's look at a special case, and it is, for example, 75. Now 75 is over here. And so if we think of it, it is equally far away from 70 as it is from 80. Five units and five units. So where does it get rounded to? Mathematicians have decided that all of these numbers that are exactly in between get rounded up to the next greater multiple of 10. So it gets rounded over there to 80. And the same is true over here, this one. 65 is about or gets rounded to 70. All right, now we will look at another special case, and that is numbers that are between 0 and 10. You know, when you count by 10s, don't you go 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, right? 0 is actually one of the whole 10s or one of the multiples of 10. You know, just like 30 is 3 tens or 3 times 10, or 40 is 4 tens, 4 times 10, 0 is actually 0 tens or 0 times 10. So it's a multiple of 10, and we can round to it when we round to the nearest 10. What do you think, Matthew, if we have a number right here, which is 3, right? So where does it get rounded to when we're rounding to nearest 10? Yeah, see, 3 actually is closer to 0 than to 10, so 3 gets rounded to 0. Or 1. The same happens with 1. It gets rounded to 0 when rounding to the nearest 10. But then if we have 5, 5 is the middle number, so it gets rounded up to the next one, to 10, and so would 6 and 7 and 8 and 9. Okay, let's do some practice now and round just a few numbers here. Let's try 84. Where does it round to when rounding to the nearest 10? Think first in between which multiples of 10 it is. It's more than 80, so it's between 80 and 90, right? And it gets rounded to, is it closer to 80 or 90? 80. 85 is exactly in the middle, would be rounded up, so 84 is less than that, gets rounded to 80. Now how about 95? Okay, we count by 10, so we have 70, 80, 90... 100, right? And so it's between 90 and 100. It ends in 5. It's exactly in the middle of 90 and 100. 
but it gets rounded up to 100 when rounding to the nearest 10. And how about 3? Remember that was kind of special. It actually, you know, counting by tens, 0, 10, 20, it gets rounded to 0. Okay, I hope this was helpful.